Governor Lulian Guerrero delivers her first State of the Island address. What should we expect? I think uh, it's going to be, you know, a very realistic State of the Island address. Of course, uh, there are many challenges, and the first 100 days was a great uh, challenge for me. And uh, of course, our cabinet members and my lieutenant governor to um, look at what we need to quickly do in the first 100 days. So um, I'm excited about it. So what exactly did the Leon Guerrero Tenorio administration set out to do in the first 100 days? According to their transition committee report, within the first 100 days, it was recommended that the Port Authority provide a signed union contract, bring closure to the ongoing cases involving employee appeals, determine staffing needs and realignment and reassignment of personnel. The remaining items on the to-do list in the first 100 days dealt mainly with public safety agencies. For the Guam Police Department, it recommended stationing two police officers working at village mayor's offices during normal working hours. However, during our weekly Crime Time Facebook live shows, the department has repeatedly stated it is short on manpower. As for Guam Fire, it was recommended that within 100 days, the shifts of emergency medical technicians be modified to fit eight-hour schedules to immediately alleviate the pressures on GFD's budget. The current EMT shifts account for nearly 80 percent of GFD operations. And finally, over at the Department of Corrections, within 100 days, it was recommended that the agency implement a Reserve Corps program similar to GPD and the Judiciary Reserve Program develop and implement a commissary program and begin the process of calculating the true cost of housing federal prisoners to recoup possible lost revenue.